Hello, students. Good evening. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, hello. Well, it's a pleasure to be here with you once again in another class. Let me turn on my camera. There we go. Okay, so welcome to another class. How are you today? So, so, teacher. So, so, why? <laughs> why so, so? I have a very strong. You have very strong what? Up. What happened to you, David? ¿Qué le pasó, David? Um, esto que ando dando, teacher. Todos COVID. Que... Oh, my God. No, <laughs> but not no, COVID. No, no, COVID. OK, no, well, no. thank God. Pongámonos la mascarilla, teacher. OK. <laughs> Good evening, teacher. Hi, how are you? <laughs> 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 it's a pleasure to be here. Today, just just to, for I uh, mean for prevention, we are going to wear the masks. Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, we, we we never know. Yeah, 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 we we never know through the computer. <laughs> well, yes, it is. It is very um, difficult now because yeah. when you have the flu, you don't know if it is the flu or COVID or not COVID or, or allergy. Yeah, you, you don't know. <laughs> and everybody looks at you like, ush, ew. Yeah. COVID. Me, yeah, medio les decís, fíjate que me siento un poco mal. COVID. <laughs> <laughs> They disappear, right? It's like, okay, no, right? <laughs> stop, stop. Uh-huh. Shoo, 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 shoo. <laughs> go out. Yeah, go, go, go. go. I stay, I stay in your house, right? Yeah. 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 Yo le digo a mis, a mis, bueno, a, a cualquiera de los trabajadores ahí, ahí en su casa quédese, no se preocupe. It's like, stay, stay there, please. Because as you never know, right? Know. Well, and today we are going to talk about the problems <clears throat> with the health right david david wanted ah. to be the example of the class yes as we are going right. to talk about health problems he said like no me enfermo para llegar de ejemplo a la clase Omicron. <laughs> no 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 god willing is not going to be anything like that <laughs> well so david is sick jenny are you okay fine fine elba fine. 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 Mr. Carlos? Hi. Tired. <laughs> the only thing. Yeah. I think that's a normal illness nowadays. Julio, how are you? Excellent teacher. Excellent. Anna? Me, uh, I think I am a little allergic oh you have allergy. allergy i have allergy i have allergy it's because you are allergy. next to next to david <laughs> maybe elmer how are you fine fine noemi how are very you good today? very good Mr. Eduardo, how are you feeling today? Um, I have backache. You have a backache? Oh, sh yeah. Some artribion, they are very good. <laughs> I don't receive any money for the commercial, okay? <laughs> Let's see, Evelyn, how are you? Evelyn, sit Hey, teacher. <clears throat> Mm, very good teacher. very good <laughs> daisy how are you excellent excellent ingris how are you feeling ingris mysterious 
Ay, ay, sleep. Ah, <laughs> sleepy. Ay, my God. I'm going to wake you up in a moment. Okay. Ingrid no va a participar ahora en todas las actividades. She's going to wake up. Josué Alexander, how are you feeling? Very well. Very well. Mr. Juan Eduardo? I'm fine. You are fine. Well, so today we are going to continue working with uh, the health problems and the parts of the body. Right? Yesterday we were studying different parts of the body. Can you give me examples of names of parts of the body? Head. 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 Eye. Eyes. Eyes. Nose. Nose. Very good. Shoulder. Shoulders. Excellent. Hair. Hair. Very good. Back. Elbow. The back. The elbows. What yes. else? Yes. The what? The leg. leg, the skin, the chest, the chin, hand. the hand, the fingers, fingers. fingers. The, fingers. Good. Good. Leg. the legs, stomach. the stomach, right? The stomach, stomach. and Shoulders. the teeth, right? What is the name of this one? Throat. The throat. throat. And this one, ah, uh, the thong, right? This one's yeah. Yeah. the ears, right? The ears, yeah. very good. There you have a, a lot of examples of the parts of the body. I don't know why, but I, I don't know. Okay, so we have a couple of examples there of parts of the body. And we are going to continue working today, but we are going to work a little bit on the health problems, right? Yesterday we were talking about the health problems too, right? We remember a couple of them. Can you mention the ones that you remember? Headache. The headache, good. A fever. Fever, broken the broken leg, good. Oh. The flu. A cough. The cough, <laughs> the cough, uh, good. Yeah, that's, uh, headache, headache. Sore eyes. Sore eyes. Sore eyes. Uh, sore throat, good. Stomach. The sunburn, right? The sunburn. Stomachache, stomachache. Stomachache. The stomachache, good. And when you express the different illnesses, remember that we say, I have. And you say, I have a, I have a backache, I have a fever, I have a stomachache, I have a toothache, right? If you are referring to a specific pain, so I, I have a broken leg. But if you say asthma, for example, you don't say I have a asthma or an asthma, it's not necessary. So you say, I have asthma, right? I have a cold, I have the flu, right? You don't say, I have a flu. You say, I have the flu, because that is the name of the illness. And also with heartburn, right? That it's like a acidez, because it's in general, you don't say, I have a heartburn, no. So you say, I have heartburn, right? Um, I have a, a stomachache, but I have sunburn or I sunburn. You don't say I have, it's not necessary. You can say I sunburn, that it's like me requeme or me queme, right? But for the rest, you say I have a, for you to express it. So this is what we were uh, studying yesterday, right? This was the last part that's, that we studied yesterday. The questions that you use at the moment of expressing a problem are the following. What's the matter and what's wrong, right? The two questions refer to the same thing, right? What's the matter is like, ¿Qué te pasa? ¿Qué tenés? Right? What's wrong? ¿Cuál es el problema? How are you and how do you feel? In this case, 
you are going to express it maybe with a sentiment or something that it's happening with you. So you say, I feel sick. I feel terrible. I feel bad. I feel miserable. Miserable is maybe imagine that you have a headache, cough, a stomachache, and diarrhea. That's miserable, right? That you cannot sneeze because something bad can happen. That's to feel miserable. Or when you have these terrible colds, cuando te andas a gripe, es que, que vos decís, ah, llévame, señor. Pero al hospital, vea, porque I want to feel better. It's like, ah, you don't want to move. You don't want to do anything. So in that case, you feel awful. You feel terrible. You feel sick. Those are feelings, right? I feel homesick. What is the meaning of homesick? Do you have any idea of what homesick is? Nostalgico. Nostalgico, exactly like that. This is very common when you travel. When you travel to another country, and then imagine that you are there in, I don't know, in France, and you see a pupusa, right? And you say like, ah, I remember El Salvador. And you feel homesick, right? I feel better when you are like passing the days of an illness. You say, I feel better. But imagine that you are working and all of a sudden you start feeling like the headache, then the runny nose. Runny nose is cuando siente que ya bajan los moquitos. Eso se llama runny nose. Por aquí se lo voy a poner. I am going to write it right here. You have, uh, I will have it here. I have runny nose. I have runny nose. It's like, all the things are going down your nose, right? That's runny nose. And you say, I don't feel well. Maybe I have fever. And that's when everything starts. Okay? So I have is for a specific problem with your body. I feel is with a specific feeling, a specific sentiment, a specific moment of your um, I don't know, a reaction about an illness, right? This is for feelings. How are you? It's for feelings. And what's the matter? What's wrong? It's for health problems. So uh, based on these examples, I have here two questions that you are going to answer. What do you have and how do you feel? I am going to ask the same question to everybody. I need you please to choose one problem and one feeling. So if you say, what do you have? You can answer, ah, teacher, I have a headache. How do you feel when you have a headache? I feel Terrible, right? I need you to answer the question, what do you have with a problem and how do you feel with a sentiment? Imagine that you have a stomach ache. I feel miserable. I feel horrible. I feel really bad. If you have, for example, a thudic, you say, I feel awful because it's really bad, right? It's really bad to have something like that. So answer the two questions. Use the different health problems that we have studied, right? We have studied many different health problems, so you can use any of them. I am going to give you some minutes for you to finish that. And when you have it, let me know.
Okay, let me know when you finish. What do you have and how do you feel? Yes, what's the difference in the flu and a cold? Ah, <clears throat> in the case of flu, is something stronger. Es algo mucho más fuerte. A cold is something like resfriado, right? The flu is something that you have like cough and runny nose and fever and everything similar to COVID. But <laughs> the cold is like, achoo, achoo. Just that. Okay. Teacher. Yep. Yeah. In el caso, eh, no sé si la que dijo de I have already know es para el caso de la sinusitis. It's very similar, pero runny nose es como los moquitos nada más. Como, okay. Tengo como secreción nasal. That's the meaning of runny nose, right? And it's very similar to sinusitis. Teacher. Yeah. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo puedo escuchar el, el audio? What? Sorry? ¿Cómo puedo escuchar el audio? ¿A dónde? ¿Y qué link? Which audio? Sorry. Uh, porque dice listening in practice. Ah, wait, 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 wait. We are going to do it. Here. It's because this we did it yesterday. Ayer yo se los leí. Yo era el audio. Mm. It was like a backache, an earache. A headache, a stomachache, a toothache, mm -hmm. a cold, a cough, a fever, the flu, uh -huh. sore eyes, a sore throat. There you go. Ya, ya escucho el audio. <laughs> I, I was the audio. <laughs> okay. It's because I just took it from, uh, from the book, but I was reading them. I was the one reading them. Okay, so tell me what do you have and how do you feel? I am going to start with, let me see. I am going to start uh, with Jorge Luis. What do you have and how do you feel? Um, what do you have? Uh, I am a, a cough. <laughs> How do you uh, feel, Jorge? I'm, I'm miserable. <laughs> I'm miserable. You say? Miserable, no. I am very bad. I am very bad. <laughs> really bad, really bad. Very good. Thank you, Mr. Jorge Luis. Elmer, what do you have? I have a fever. How do you feel? I don't feel well. Ah, you don't feel very well. Uh, Mr. Wilfredo, what do you have? Uh, I, I have a backache. Back and how do you feel? I feel terrible. Oh, I'm very sorry. Jenny, what do you have? The microphone. I'm sorry, I have a sore eyes. You have a sore eyes. Um, and how do you feel? I feel bad. I feel bad, you say. In the case of sore eyes, you don't say, uh, I have a sore eyes because eyes is plural. In this uh -huh. case, you say, I have sore eyes only oh, in general. Sore eyes. sore eyes, very good. Elba, what do you have? I have asthma. Hey, how do you feel? I feel asthma. Oh, I'm very bad. Mr. Carlos Regalado, what do you have? I have a cold. And how do you feel? I feel fine. 
You feel fine. That's good. Mr. Eduardo, what do you have? I have an earache. And how do you feel? I feel terrible. Oh, I'm very sorry. Mr. Julio, what do you have? I have a fever. How do you feel? Um, I feel terrible. Oh, I am very sorry for that. Miss Anna, what do you have? I have a headache. And how do you feel? I feel miserable. Ah, oh, miserable. Because I don't like to listen the voice to the other people. <gasps> hey, I am and I want to die. Ah, come on. No, don't say that. Come on. <laughs> That, that, that is feeling miserable, right? It's like, oh, ya me voy, veo la luz. <laughs> One day and the next day, I'm fine. Excellent, I'm fine. perfect. <laughs> Let's see, Miss... Thanks for the pillow. <laughs> Miss Noemi, what do you have? I have a fever. Oh, and how do you feel? Um, I feel terrible. Oh, I am very sorry for that. Miss Did Janita, you... yes? Um, I have a question. Tell me. ¿Cómo se dice dolor de oído? I have an Eric. Eric. Thanks. Okay. Uh, Janira, what do you have? Um, I have a headache. And how do you feel? I feel terrible. Oh, sure. I'm very sorry for that. Let me see, Miss Evelyn. What do you have? In real, see, see, see. And it's real. Oh my God. That's so terrible. I have cold. You have a cold. And how do you feel? I'm terrible. I, I feel terrible. You feel terrible. Hmm, that, I'm very sorry for that. Abigail Morales, what do you have? Abigail Morales, what do you have? Maybe she's very bad because she doesn't listen to me. Sonia Pinti, what do you have? I, I have a call. Oh, and, and it's for real. <laughs> How do you feel? Yes. Um, I am very tired. Oh, you are very tired. You feel bad. I'm very sorry for that. Also, Alexander, what do you have? Maybe he feels really bad, like Abigail. <laughs> Rocio Peña, what do you have? I have the flu. Oh, and how do you feel? I very, I feel very bad and I have very sleep. Oh my God. Well, we're going to feel better soon. Well, my dear students, did I miss anybody? Se me quedó alguien? Daisy. What do you have? I have a sore eyes. You have sore eyes. You have sore yeah. eyes. And how do you feel? I feel sick. Ah, Mr. David, what do you have? I have sick. I am sick, you say. I am okay. sick. I am sick. And how do you feel? I feel terrific, very terrific. Okay, important. That's a very good moment for the intervention. Terrific, it's a positive adjective. It's a positive adjective. When you say, I feel terrific, significa me siento fabuloso, me siento excelente. But terrible, it's the opposite, right? Okay. Terrible is negative. Terrific, okay. it's perfect, marvelous, fantastic. Right, so we need to be very careful okay. with that. So terrific, it's very good. amable. I am sick, but I feel terrific. <laughs> and you have it there, but terrible. Terrible is the adjective that we need to use. Well, thank you, my dear students, for sharing the problem that you have. I feel very sorry about all the problems that you have. 
But no one asked the teacher. Teacher, how are you? But about you, teacher. Ah, what good. do you have? <laughs> you know, um, I have a backache. How do you feel? I feel stress and I feel bad, but I will sleep and it will pass. Now nah, I'm kidding. I'm okay. <laughs> I am perfect. Thank you for asking. You need some is that? Yeah, I need I need some radols. Another <laughs> one. I don't receive any money for the commercials. Okay, I have a conversation here and it says, Hey Kenichi, how are you? I'm not so good actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Mm, maybe you have the flu. No, I just think. I, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Ah, so what a good friend. He says, hey, Kenichi, how are you? Go with me. Hey, Kenichi, how are you? Hey, Kanichi. Hey, Kanichi. How, how, how are you? Hey, Kanichi. Um, how are you? I'm not so good, actually. Oh, oh not so I'm good. not so good, actually. Why? What's the matter? Why? 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 What's the matter? Well, I have a headache and a backache. Well, 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 I have a headache and a backache. Maybe you have the flu. Maybe, Maybe you have the flu. No, I think I just feel a little homesick for Japan. No, I think uh, I just feel I like a little homesick for Japan. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. That's too bad. Maybe, maybe I can help. Let's have lunch at that new Japanese restaurant. Let's have lunch at the new Japanese restaurant. That's a great idea. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. 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 I feel better already. I feel better already. Hi, students. How are you? Oh, oh, I'm, I'm not so good, actually. actually. Why? What's the matter? Well, uh, I, have I have a head. head. No. Back head. Back head. Maybe you have the flu. No, 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 I, I think I just had it. I'm coming to for Japan. For El Salvador, very good. I feel a little homesick for El Salvador. That's too bad, but maybe I can help. Let's have some pupusas at that new pupusería near your house. Maybe I am. Maybe I am in Japan. That's a great idea. Thanks, Brian. I feel better already. Thanks, Brian. I am not Brian. Okay. Teacher, I feel better already. Thank you very much. Okay. Ask me. Hi, teacher. How are you? Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm not so good, actually. Why? 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 I have a headache and I have a backache. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe you have the flu. No. I think I just feel a little homesick for the sun. That's not bad. bad. Very good. That's a great idea. Thanks, students. I feel better already. So, what was the problem with Kenichi? What was the problem with his body? He has a headache and a backache. And he feels homesick. 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 
Is he going to take medicine for this? No. 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 He is not going to take medicine. What is he going to do? He is going to take a lunch. Going to He's going to have lunch with Brian. Hey, el busico on what happened. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, he's going to have lunch with Brian and that is going to be the medicine for his problem, right? Very good. So I have here a short uh, conversation and I have some options for us to complete the conversation. Here, I have different options for us to complete the paragraphs. In this case, we are going to use these phrases that I have here. I have, that's too bad. Are you going to see a doctor? The next one. Let me see. I think I can make it bigger. There you go. It says, that's too bad. Are you going to see the doctor? I am glad to hear that. How do you feel tonight? I'm fine, thanks. How about you? So are you going to go to school tomorrow? What's wrong? Great, see you, and I hope you feel better soon. I need you please to analyze the complete conversation and to write the sentences in the place that you consider correct, right? Here you have the different options. I am going to write the numbers in each of the lines and you are going to tell me which sentence do you consider necessary for number two, for number three, number four, number five, number six, number seven, and number eight. Which of the options do you consider correct for each of the phrases? It says, hi, Lisa, how are you? I am fine, thanks. How about you? Okay, so this one, it's already used. We already used this one. We are not going to use it again, but we have so these ones available, okay? All these ones available. And it says, not so good, actually. I feel really awful. And you have the answer. I think I have the flu. What is the, the sentence that we are missing here? I need you to analyze, write the sentences in the order of, on your notebook, and then you give me the answers, okay? Pongamos del número dos al número ocho en su cuaderno y van ordenando las frases que ustedes creen necesarias para cada uno de los espacios, okay? And when we finish, we are going to share together.
Okay, one more minute to finish. Okay, I think you are done with the sentences. Did you finish? No. No? Okay. I'm no. going to give you some minutes to finish. <coughs> Teacher, yes. Um, um, Lisa, what's wording? Uh huh. What's wording? Sorry. Mm. For number two. Say seven. Ah, for number seven. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. In this case, uh, we need to analyze the other ones for you to have the answer for number seven. So you say, I feel much better, thanks. And in this case, we are going to check right now. Si ya terminaron todos, revisamos. Yes? Yes. Okay. So, yes. what? What option do you consider appropriate for number two? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong, right? What's wrong? What's wrong? What's wrong? And it says, I think I have the flu, right? What's wrong? I am going to write it better because uh, it will look more organized. Okay. What's wrong? For number uh, three, it says, I think I have the flu. No, I am going to go home and rest. That's too bad. That's Are too you bad. going to see a doctor? Very good. You say, that's, that's, too, that's bad. too bad. Are you going to going see to a doctor? Are you going to see a doctor? And it says, uh, no, I think I am going to go home and rest. And what do you think it's the next one? I think that is, I hope you feel better soon. I hope you feel better soon, right? I hope you feel better soon. And it's this one, right? I hope you feel better soon. I sh I take, it <laughs> take it easy with calma. Let me see. Okay, here I go. I hope you feel better soon, right? And here I go. What is the next one? How do you feel tonight? I hope you feel better soon, right? And the next one, in the evening it says, how do you feel tonight? How do you feel tonight? How do you feel tonight? I feel much better. I'm glad to hear that. Very good. I am glad to hear that. What is the meaning of this one? I am glad to hear that. Me alegra escuchar esto. Thanks. So are you going to go to school tomorrow? Very good. So uh, are you going to go to school tomorrow? Are you going to go to school mm -hmm. tomorrow? Tomorrow, and it says yes, I am. Great, great. great. See, you see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Great. See you tomorrow. 
right? So as you can see here, you gave the follow up to the feeling of Lisa. And it says, hi, Lisa, how are you? Hi, students, how are you? I'm fine, so thanks. I'm fine. How about you? How about you? <laughs> Not so good, actually. I feel really awful. What's, What's wrong? wrong? What's wrong? I think I have the flu. That's, That's so bad. bad. That's so Are bad. You going Are you doctor? going to see a doctor? No, he is going to tell me that I have COVID. I am going to go home and rest. <laughs> How I, I, I hope you feel better soon. Better soon. Better no song, right? Better soon. soon. Thanks. How do you feel tonight? I feel much better. I'm glad, I'm glad, glad to hear that. Glad to hear that. So, are you going to go to Are you going to go to school tomorrow? Yes, I am. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. Tomorrow. tomorrow. Yay. I am going to go. Maybe in this case, he didn't want to go to school. That's why he was feeling sick. He's like, ah, ah, I feel sick. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Maybe he didn't want to go to school. <laughs> yeah, that, that's maybe the problem. Okay, so we are going to continue here. We are going to continue now with a listening. Here you have four different pictures. What do you see in the different pictures? What problems can you identify? Number Elbow. one. Remember, what is the name when you have a pain Word. in a specific place? So you say, I have a sore elbow, a dolorido, sore, uh, right? Sore elbow. What about number two? Headache. He has a headache. Right? He has a headache. Number three. Sore eyes. Sore eyes. Sore eyes. And what about number four? He has a uh, sore teeth. <laughs> sore teeth? No, he has a toothache. Toothache. He has a toothache. Sore teeth. <laughs> Good. He has a footache. Good. Let's listen to the audio. I am going to play an audio for you. And I need you to listen to the different situations. Let's check. Hey, Amber. Uh, not really. My elbow and wrist feel terrible. Ouch. Do you want to rest? Good idea. Two. I think I'm gonna go home early. I don't feel well. What's the matter, David? I think I have a cold. I have a headache and I have a sore throat. Oh, that's too bad. Get better, okay? Okay, we are going to continue listening. Let Give me a second. I am going to play number three. Three. Ooh. What's wrong? Oh. It's my eyes. They're really dry. Well, take a break, Alyssa. Finish your work later. Okay, thanks. Four. Here, have some ice cream, Nicholas. Oh, I love ice cream, but I can't eat any cold food. Why not? I have a really bad toothache. Oh, I'm sorry. Right, so these are the problems of people, right? The lady has a sore elbow, right? The first lady has a sore elbow. The second one has a terrible headache. The next one has sore eyes. And the last one has a terrible thudic. What do you do in the cases on which you have these problems? What do you do if you have a sore arm? What solution do you give to this problem? If you have a sore elbow, oh, I have a sore elbow, you say, ah, oh, what do you do? What is your solution? 
maybe use uh, muscle cream. Muscle cream, right? You use muscle cream, like cofalito or any of these ones, right? They don't give me any money for the commercial. Take a, aspirin. <laughs> you take an aspirin? Big Vaporu for a sore a elbow. Frame. It is a solution for everything, teacher. Oh, <laughs> well, I, I have never used Big Vaporu in, in, Try to use. in a sore elbow, right? Maybe I have used all these muscle creams for the soccer players, right? And, and now that you have uh, of the, all this of Maria, I don't know what, anything that you use. To use teacher, try. I will use Big Vaporu in, in everything. And what don't do, you tell me. <laughs> what do you no. do when you have a headache? Uh, Big Vaporu. No pain. <laughs> <laughs> Pepto-bismol <laughs> for the headache. Mm, okay, I you take, take an aspirin. aspirin. You take an aspirin. aspirin. You take aspirin or acetaminophen, right? Acetaminophen is the cure for everything, right? Everything and acetaminophen. Big vaporu and acetaminophen. Hi, sweetie. <laughs> we have a visitor there. What do you do when you have sore eyes? What do you do when you have sore eyes? Sleep. Go to the doctor. Sleep, you go to the doctor. Uh -huh. And what do you do when you have a toothache? And dentist, you go to the dentist. You go to the dentist. Do you take any medicine? Yes. Yes. As a right? <laughs> Toco madera. Anadén. Anadén, right? <coughs> eh, queremos especificar que ninguna de estas marcas nos está pagando por estos comerciales. No. <laughs> so, yeah, inglés corporativo no se hace responsable de este comercial. Okay, no. so here we have the different medications, right? Antacid. Antacid, for example, when you have heartburns and when you have eating a lot, you need antacid for you to relax your stomach, right? Aspirin, when you have any type of pain. Muscle cream for these different uh, payment pains that you have. It's like uh, if you have a pain in the back, if you have a pain on your, on your shoulders, if you have a backache, if you have any type of pain, muscle cream. Cough syrup, cough syrup is the one that you drink that is liquid when you have a cough, right? You are like, <coughs> woof, and you take it and that's it, right? Cough drops, it's like kind of pills, right? And we also have the other ones, cold pills, right? Like uh, all these new things that you have uh, now for the cold that you have, uh, Biro, no sé qué, pala, no sé qué. You have all these type of pills uh, that you use, right? The cold tablets, by uh, the vitamins also, the cough syrup, the aspirin. I have some more here. Cough drops. The trot lozenges are like the uh, caramelos para la garganta. Those are the throat. Yeah, exactly like that, right? That, like that. a sorritoni. Yes, exactly like that. Uh, antacid, nasal spray pss, pss, that you use. It is not very recommendable, but it is an example. Eye drops. Eye drops. What is cold? Uh, Which one? Cold drops. Cough drops. Uh, pastillas para la tos. Oh, okay. Cough drops. And we also have ointment. Ointment, it's like pomadas, right? In general, cream, <laughs> lotions, big vapor, uh -huh. lotions, a pill, a tablet, a capsule, a caplet, right? Caplet is like pildora, the, the big ones, right? Capsule, it's like a, a well, capsulas, that's the name of that one. A teaspoon, una cucharadita, right? With the syrup, it's very common that they say, una cucharada de jarabe tomate. 
I will feel better. And you just just drink a lot of, of, of syrup and then you are like, because it's just a spoon, right? ¿Por qué todo se mueve? ¿Por qué te tomaste medio bote de Fórmula 44? <laughs> uh -huh. And a tablespoon is a big spoon, right? Una cuchara sopera of medicine. So in any of the cases, when you feel bad and when you are ill, when you have a problem with your head, you need medication, right? Like the ones that we have here. I have here a little example, and it says, you are the doctor right now, okay? You are going to be the doctor. And here I have some problems. What is the first problem, Carlos? Can you read it? What is? Number one. Oh, hi. Her eyes are eyes. Eyes are very tired. She needs some and eye drops. drops. Eye, eye drops. drops. Number two, Janira, can you help me to read number two? Yes. Your cough sounds terrible. Take some pills or some or some. You have it right here. Syrup. Uh, cough. <laughs> cough. Syrup. Okay, cough syrup, right? Cough syrup. Cough syrup. Take some pills or some cough syrup. Let's okay. go with the next one. Wilfredo, help me to read the next one. Number three. The microphone, sweetie, I cannot listen to you. I have a headache, so I'm going to buy some aspirin. Very good. I have a headache, so I am going to buy some aspirin. Let's see. Anna, can you help me with number four? My R is surf. I'm going to put some muscular stream. Muscle cream. cream. I did this. Muscle. Muscle. Muscle cream. Muscle cream. Muscle. 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 Mu mu muscles. Muscle. Like with <laughs> you. Muscle with O. Mu like with with O O. Muscle like, cream. Like a muscle. <laughs> no, like muscle. No, you say muscle. Muscle. Yes, pero no de mos, ah, mozo, no. muscle, muscle, <laughs> muscle, muscle, muscle cream, muscle, muscle cream. Okay, <laughs> no, a little bit, a little bit on my arm. Number five, Daisy, go ahead. Christina has a stomach ache, so I'm going to give her some pills. Some pills, good. Number six. It's going to be for Elba. Number six, the microphone, Elba. Susie has a trouble, uh, trouble cold. She's going to take some spill. She's going to take some? Uh, a spill. Some aspirin, right? She's aspirin. going to take some aspirin. 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 Aspirin, good. I need five volunteers. I need five volunteers. Raise your hand. Five volunteers. Eduardo, thank you very much. <laughs> Jenny, <laughs> he's like, what, what? <laughs> Jenny, very good. Another volunteer. Eduardo, can you help me? Yes, yeah. okay, Eduardo, Ana, I need two more. Wilfredo and one more. I need one more. Carlos. Carlos regalado, thank you very much. Hoy no escogí a Carlos de primero, siempre lo escojo primero. Me dice, why me, teacher? <laughs> okay. Because so. he, 
he looks yeah. funny. <laughs> he, he loves to participate. That's yeah. Why. Jenny, Ana, Wilfredo, Carlos, and Eduardo. You are going to be the patients. We are the doctors here. Okay, aquí llamó a línea doctor one, two, three. All of you are very sick and we are going to give you the prescription for your problem, okay? We are not the Dr. Chapatin, right? El Dr. Matasano, we are Dr. Matasano. <laughs> All of us, let's see. <laughs> Uh, first patient, here I have, let me check on the list. Um, Miss Jenny Santillana, uh, Dr. Jorge is going to attend you. <laughs> Dr. Jorge, tiene paciente? <laughs> okay. Dr. Jorge, I have a call. How do you feel? I, I, I feel terrible. Okay, uh, take you some uh, pillars, yeah. cold pillars. Take some cold pills. <laughs> cold pills. Okay. okay, thank you. Okay. Um, <laughs> are you happy with Dr. Jorge or do you want to see another doctor, Miss Jenny? Uh, no, it's fine. That it's okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ding, ding, ding. Ana Mendoza, Ana Mendoza, you are going to pass with Mr. Eh, Elmer Mauricio. Dr. Oh. Elmer, you have a patient. <laughs> Thanks, God. Finally. Hello, doctor. Hi, Who is Anna. my doctor? Ah. <laughs> Hi, Ana. <laughs> What do you what do you have? Good evening, doctor. Um, I feel very bad because I have a bad case. So I have a lot of pain. I can move and I want diet today. Oh my god. So tell me what can I do, please? Okay, don't 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 worry, Anna. I, I have a solution. Tell me that, please. Uh, take a uh, aspirin. Um, aspirin? <laughs> yes. Really? Uh, you will. Yes. You will that I die. <laughs> uh huh. Do you do you have a back backache? Maybe? Yes. Yes, back. Take a aspirin, um, <laughs> rest it and, and the, the bell. Mm, um, the, the muscle cream. Oh, that's a good idea. Okay, uh, the doctor gave you an incapacity. You cannot go to work for 10 days. So <laughs> go to your house. <laughs> Thank you very much. Three days, three days in Ah, no, I gave her 10. <laughs> I'm very sorry. Let me see. <clears throat> Mr. Eduardo Romero, Mr. Eduardo Romero, you are going to go with uh, Dr. Daisy. Hi, Dr. Daisy. I feel terrible. I have a headache. Can you I, help? I take aspirin. So I feel in the aspirin for ten days. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> this is this like is seguro. This is lying doctor. So aspirin. Are you are you okay with the with the doctor? Um okay. Um, <laughs> it's like poor poor Eduardo is like yeah, okay. 
another incapacity for you. You have incapacity for you. Oh. Ten days. Oh, okay. Yes. You are not going to go capacity. to work. I'm going to go to the beach. Yes. Well, the idea. <laughs> well, as we are in the social security, Mr. Carlos, and uh, who was the other patient? ¿Cuál fue el otro paciente que me quedaba? Only Mr. Carlito. And Wilfredo, right. Okay, your, your appointment is going to be for next, next month, okay? So come back next month. And we're, we, we don't have a doctor for you today. <laughs> no, my dear students, it's time for us to finish. I have another <laughs> class. Have a beautiful night, a beautiful weekend, and I'm going to see you on Monday, okay? Bye, teacher. Thanks. Don Carlos and Don Wilfred, I didn't get a little bit. Okay. Bye bye. Take care. Bye. 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 B